What's up, everybody? It's John from johnnyoctave.com. And I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass on a little uh, D7 Blues lick. It's another one of these licks that happens to not be in the comfortable pattern one position that everybody loves so much, including me. Uh, but kind of, you know, in an effort to not be boxed in by uh, a pattern that's comfortable for my fingers, I try to work out some of these little ideas that, that happen to be really comfortable for my hand in pattern one that uh, I, I try to work those out in another pattern where it's not so comfortable so that, uh, you know, when I'm playing music, I'm not boxed in by uh, not being close to a pattern that's, that's easy for my fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pass on a little lick short that uh, you guys can start to wrap your head around um, that happens to fall in, a, in pattern uh, four of the pentatonic scale. And then what I do is I add in a little blues uh, line or a little blues note in there to spice it up a little bit. But let me show you guys the pattern first, and then what I'll do is I'll zoom in to show you what the lick is, okay? So the pattern is uh, this one. It's uh, pattern four, the pentatonic scale, and we're in D. So uh, it goes 5-8 on the sixth string, 5-8 on the A string, the D string and the G string are 5-7. string we're going to go 6, 8, and then in the high E string we're going to go 5, 8. So it's B string 6, 8, high E string 5, 8. Okay? Just so you guys know what I'm thinking about when I take you guys through this lick, okay? Um, and again, it's pattern 4. So if you guys don't know all the five positions of the pentatonic pattern, hop on over to johnnyoctave.com, download my free ebook that uh, has the scale in it, um, and it'll help out a lot, I'm sure. It's got chords, scales, all kinds of cool stuff. So uh, anyways, let me uh, zoom in and show you guys this lick. All right, everybody, let me uh, show you what's going on here. This lick uh, is just on the top three strings, and uh, it's just a little portion of what I played in the beginning of the lesson. <laughs> okay, you guys can end up playing this at whatever tempo you want, um, but let me give you the notes. So I'm starting this out with a bend on the B string, 8th fret, okay? And I'm doing that with my pinky. So some people I like to see, uh, like I see, like to do it with their third finger, the bend. Um, that's totally fine, as long as you get the right note. It's, you're aiming to get the, the uh, B string, 10th fret note. So however you want to get that done with your pinky or third finger is fine, okay? And then what I do is I reach over to the high E string, Fifth fret, same note that I just bent to, just like that. Okay. What happens next is we have this uh, pull off from the uh, eighth fret to the fifth fret on the B string, just like that. Okay, so you have this. You guys make sure that you're, when you're doing this, you're picking and then you're pulling down and away, kind of flicking the string off to get that sound of the fifth fret on the B string. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, uh, rather than just lifting your finger, you know, you'll get a sound maybe, but not a real strong sound. And then what we're going to do is slide from six to seven on the B string. Okay. Just like that. What I do to finish this off, just to resolve it, is I roll my finger, my second finger down to the G string on the seventh fret. And that's a D note, and that's the, the root note of this uh, lick. You know, it's the whole thing you guys remember is in D. So whether it's a D like this, which will work fine over the top of that, or it happens to be a little more jazzy bluesy type thing, either one it's going to work great, but just remember it's in D, okay? You guys have fun with that, and I'll see you next time.